Hello, it is Mad Cookie here again, and this is part three of our playthrough in this dungeon. It's the Folgenthur dungeon. If you haven't seen our earlier parts, there will be an annotation on the screen so you can go and watch them if you would like to. Right here, I'm just looking at my ring on my finger because it's really, really beautiful. So, right here to the left or behind me now. Come on, turn the right way, dude. Yeah, here. And that sound. Yeah, this is the room where we, there will be a little boss battle. So, there are pillars here which are useful because you can use them to go around and make some space between you and the enemies which will be in this case the famous Draugur now the main bad guy will of course be a bit tougher I would actually say is the toughest enemy I have fought so far although, although it didn't kill me it takes a lot of damage like take some time to kill him now the tactic I would say in this is to kill these other easy druggers first because they will come two and two and will be really annoying if you don't kill them first so I'll just hack and slash on them and try to avoid being hit by the big bad guy as it does quite a bit of damage but he's also really really slow and um, something I figured out while I fought against him is that every time he hits you you turn red and that is kind of a debuff in the way that he heals himself with 10 damage from you, like he takes 10 damage from you, 5 health points. And in the beginning that doesn't matter so much because I haven't damaged him yet, but later on, when you have started to damage him, it will uh, increase the time you have to use to kill him and that he gets healed every time he hits you. So the trick, I would say, is try to avoid getting hit. That's really important. You can use a shield dash or your shout to stagger him and then go in for a hit. Uh, I'm using a bit of potions there and poison. As you might need some extra damage to take him down using some poisons, is really smart. Now, you can also heal yourself up, of course. Now, something I didn't know right now is the fact that he did take 10 health points, so you can see that I'm not so good at avoiding the hits. But later on, I will pull up my magic menu and see what it is. It makes him so hard to take. Down. And yeah. It's just a long boss battle actually. I'm trying to avoid getting hit. And here you see I'm trying to see what that debuff is. But I was too slow, so I have to get hit one more time and now I saw it. So now I'm trying to shield bash him and going in for one or two strikes and also using this shout and then striking him one or two times. Now, the pillars and uh, this table in the middle are really good to use to get some space between you and uh, Mikro Daulduksum, which he is named. And you just kind of walk around while you wait to get enough stamina to do a shield bash. And you go in for the shield bash and two strikes. Using arrows isn't that smart, I tried doing it, but it will just catch up with you and hit you. Now another thing which you can do, which I will do right now, is actually let him walk up to you and when he starts striking, walk back and then you go in for one hit and you walk back. Uh, because 
his damage or his attack is really really slow so it's not that hard to just go back every time he tries to hit you I wish I knew that earlier on but you do now and there we saw the quest item which we needed and here we also see his weapon it's a really nice weapon to be honest so let's equip it and look at it take a look from the first person view and it looks like the uh, Nord weapon, the old Nord weapon, I think it's called, or something. Ancient Nord uh, sword, it is, or something. But it is. It is enchanted. Now, now we look at the writ of sealing, which we also find from him. And if you read the text in the book which started this quest, you will now understand better what that seal is all about if you didn't you can go back in part one and about in the middle of the uh, part you will see i'm having the book open and it's four seconds on each page so if you want to read you can just pause so to move on we are opening these doors with our amazing key and i just love this this animation and that sound it makes it's so so easy it's really cool effect and I'm not sure if you heard right there but you could hear like uh, you can hear it better not right now that music in the background indicates that I'm close to learning a new shout now right here my screen is flickering and over there is where we are supposed to go to learn our new shout but firstly we should loot this chest to get some valuables and now let's walk slowly and learn our new shout was basically it for this part what's left is just to look at what the shout is and it is a frost breath shout and before the next playthrough of a dungeon I would probably have learned the shout or have used it unlocked it with a dragon breath or dragon soul it's called frost breath so yeah. um, we're just going to leave the dungeon now, so please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It will be a series, I hope, I'm really pretty sure of it, if I'm getting some views. And I enjoyed making this, I will see forward until making newer ones. So yeah, please subscribe and search, say what you like, say what you did not like. And I will just find my way out of this little dungeon. So I will hopefully see you guys later.